Forgotten Forever, Chapter 3. In 2008, I was in a foreign country again, alone. When a marriage ends, it can take a lot out of you. And let me tell you, when you're in the army, there's only so much you can do to soothe your sorrow. So, alcohol. Lots and lots of alcohol. Sure, I had friends I could turn to, but most of the time, they were promoting my drinking. My point is, I felt alone. And I was definitely drunk. On one of those drunken nights, I think it was before or after Thanksgiving, I got to thinking, and I started analyzing my life and reminiscing about love. And that's when I remembered a letter eight years ago I never read. A letter from a forgotten forever that was a mystery. What the hell was in that letter?